Hello. 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 <laughs> this is Johannes. This is Johannes. Yes. Yes, it is Johannes. He's very comfortable with speaking English uh, without uh, any notice. <laughs> We're installing an Anna's panel at Johannes' place. Johannes is my friend, the electrician. So, so this is his little man cave right here. So we're having a couple of hours and we're just installing an NS panel. I bought one and I hope to get his excitement when installing the panel. Capture uh, yeah, the moment. Exactly, we're trying to, well, I hope to capture the moment. The eyes of <laughs> excitement. Okay. Let's let's start. This is uh, my my my, um, my dashboard, and for example, wow, we my, love dashboards. Yes, and for example, my my uh, Grafana OpenSense. Of course, I'm using OpenSense. It's a very cool developer shit. <laughs> yeah, we're both using OpenSense. <laughs> you can see, you know, the load and uh, and uh, the, the uptime, and of course, all my wow, wow. In, in the, uh, oh, of course, though, the the, the um, uh, firewall blocked the van locations <laughs> in all of the world. Hey, yes, <laughs> that's my IP address there. This is your IP. That's your most yes. uh... top locked on all <laughs> proxy in Russia, <laughs> uh, and all of my interfaces here. Yes, uh, van, lawn, and such. Nice. Yes, very nice. Hmm? Huh? You have Are you else? using Uptime Cumin now? No, I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I try to 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 uh, make you use. Tom Kuma some some while ago, I think we tried it. Yeah, no, but I, I don't know what it does. What does what does it do? Explain. Tom Kuma is it's a very easy tool to monitor your your services. All right, your oh, services yeah, yeah, yeah. and nice. also your hardware. So I'm monitoring, okay. monitoring all my services, and my my, my uh, I also monitoring my my um, database uh, right. and my log scraping. I'm using Prometheus and uh, Greylog to log scrape. Wow, well, you you are so much cooler than that. <laughs> to my <laughs> database. Uh, yes, and uh, my new but, but uh, I still on uptime Kuma. What, what, so why, the uptime Kuma, that's that's it's an monitor, it's an easy use monitoring tool. So you can Is see it the S uptime. SNMP, no, 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 no SNMP, no, so, ah, like, no, okay. no agents and stuff. Well, you can, okay. I think you can use it also, but you have like uh, you can have add the new monitor here. Well, what can you choose? Okay. You can choose HTTPS or ah, TCP okay. or ping, All right? right? So, for example, if you take, uh, we can take uh, Nextcloud, it's a mm -hmm. HTTPS, uh, um, my Nextcloud here. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for, if you edit it, uh, uh, oh, fix this no, well, it, it just monitors to, to see if it's up, up and running, like if it has the code 200 maybe. Ah, like okay, okay. Then you can you can choose different yeah, two hundred except, except the status code. So ah, okay. through and do you decide how how often or yeah, you can decide oh, like okay. how often you should be on every right. tries and stuff. But the, and, and the easiest thing uh, is to uh, use to only use ping. So I'm pinging my okay. for example my uh, my uh, ubiquity access. Yeah. Oh, oh, PSA, right. PSA. Access point. Access point. All right. Right. So it's a it's a very easy tool. Yeah, and all in my LXC stuff. Yeah. Yeah, of course you need that. It's pretty nice. So yeah. I get an uh, yeah, I get an email when something's done. Yeah, that's down. Great. Yeah, cool. And also I get an email for my UPS, of course. Down. <laughs> yeah, so you have the, a UPS. Yeah, if they oh, that's cool. get the power loss. What happened? What happened with uh, the lights? Yeah, I think it's a timer on my ah, okay. sensor. Uh, so if the, if I get a power out, power outage, oh. I will get an email. So if this one, one this little guy here is on, is on battery instead of online. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. How how long or what what is connected to that one? Like everything right now, it's my my uh, my server, my open sense room. It's a bit dark now. Can we increase yes, the light? Of course. Let's go into my system. Ooh. We are going to, going to do some cool stuff. This is also a cool system. dashboard. Dwayne's oh, dashboard. Oh, I love it. It, it looks good. Again actually. here. It looks really good. Contour Um Maybe I should disable that. Nice. Oh, well. Hmm. So you can see who's home and stuff. I actually have I have I told you that I've installed Home Assistant. Yes, that's, that's really cool. You have to show me your Home Assistant. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done anything, but, <laughs> but I actually got a very good feeling uh, when I installed it. Yes. It was, it was nice. And it, I mean, it looks very good. And I, okay, yeah. it is, it's, it's, it's a really nice to use, yes. Yeah. Here's my Zigbee to them. Even, even. Yeah. Please have to help me with Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We both started using uh, Home Assistant, uh, like, uh, no, 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 uh, Sigma to MQTT, yeah. we transferred from like cool Deacons, and uh, it's an amazing um, experience, actually. I don't know why it took so long. It's amazing. Have you have you tried the map? I've tried the map, but it's, 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 it's quite slow. Yeah, I know. It can take I, like I know. a few minutes, maybe, yeah. almost, to get this. But it's still working. cool when, when you get it. It's, mm, cool. it's cool, yeah. <laughs> nice to have. I'd have like you to tried have... the scenes functionality? That's actually, Within, that's, uh, that's actually <coughs> amazing. Uh, go Within to, the scene. Yeah, exactly. Go to groups and uh, you can create you oh, can create oh, a group, oh, like uh, name a group. So you create a group here? Uh, yeah. Uh, you can't do that. Oh, uh, maybe oh, yeah. oh, okay. So, yeah. I need so to like... name it like all lights or something. Uh, all it. Yeah, and you just create group. Here. Boom. And then uh, open the group. Uh, no, press all lights. The group name. Yeah. And then uh -huh. just uh, select the device. Boom. Oh, okay. And you choose let's like choose a light in here. Let's let's take um, this is contour lamp on. Yeah. Choose that one and one more. Do you have one more here? Uh, we can take a star. Like a star. Should I? Should yeah. I add to add to group. To... Oh no! How lamp on this we have? Oh no. The is it my fault? Yes. Oh man. So add group. Kill the switch. Add group, I yep. presume. And also, like, take a crystal lamp from the yeah, that one. Yeah. Nice. And. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, wait, uh, adding. To all lights. But maybe this is a. Um, mm, Network scan thing. This is a. Uh, maybe this will not work. This is a home assistant. Um, Made lamp, because oh, so, right. yeah. the, the contour lamp uh, consists of one, two, three, four, five ah, okay. lights. All right. Like, you know, so now, let's try that one. So, yeah, you yeah. can. That's also cool. Uh, Sigma, a Sigma group. Have you tried it? Uh, I, I, I didn't realize that. But if you if you do uh, if you wanna if you have one light that exists of um, five lights. Well, yes, that's what I have. Yeah, here. exactly. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I mean, you could send five commands to all five lights. Mm -hmm. But if you create a Sigma group, you just have to send one command and it will act yeah, so instantaneously I, actually, on I all. It's I don't know what to do with it. Because if, if we look into Home Assistant yeah. and we can. Maybe that is a Sigma group. You, in, in Home Assistant, it's called helpers. And you can, ah, okay. like, helpers, you can, you can create, for in, my, in this case, it's Stalin Krona, yeah. that consists of a group. Exactly, but I'm guessing when you when you send uh, when you turn that off, mm. I guess five commands, Sigby commands are sent. Can I check each that? Light. Do you know if we can check the, you, the raw? You will screen. see it on the behavior. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try. Is it here? The the. You can try lamp lamp on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's try. It. So now it's on. So I'll, I'll turn it off. Okay, it looked very. Uh, it looked very simultaneous. Actually, yeah. try again. No, it's it's not. <laughs> no, so if you create a Sigma group, it will instant it it will go <laughs> exactly because then it's just yeah, it's, it's just answer. one command. Then. Oh, okay, it's okay. it's cool. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of them. Actually. Yeah, I know. I'm, I know. I'm using Vardas roommate. It's like I done Fortnite maybe. Yeah. Uh, shock it and uh, exactly. so roommate. It's yeah. Example, yes. yeah. So, okay, so I will uh, redo this. Yeah. So but the 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 coolest thing because that's a scenes page. You create groups, but mm -hmm. it's a scenes page. Go to scenes. No, um, I mean. In, in, oh, yeah, uh, okay. Exactly. Go to, uh, go to groups because you can groups. you can do scenes there with the groups. So, so this is a group. Yeah. Exactly. And da -da 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 press on the group name, all lights. And uh, then you can super easily press store here. No. Yeah. Then you've created a scene that's called scene zero. Mm -hmm. That should also appear in Home Assistant because <laughs> okay, it, it, so really nice. okay. it has its own so uh, to... MQTT topic. Yeah, it should ex uh, if oh, okay. Home Assistant is as good as I hear, it should so uh, appear there. Like, yeah. uh, we go to, to automation scenes. Yeah, okay. So that's, then we click okay. scenes. Oh, it's, it's not, not there. Here. Okay, is it a. <laughs> but uh, but uh, uh, maybe it's an automation for... or is where the name or not. Or an uh, item or something. Because uh, uh, it's it still a. Still a we group. called it. So I it's. Uh, all lights. So. That's a group. Scene zero. Yeah, it's, it's called scene zero, yeah. Uh, so. 
Because I don't know, I, I just know how to use it with open hand, but I know that it has an, its own topic now. And you can you can call the scene with the MQT topic. You can also restore the scene with an MQT topic. Mm. So that means you can you can like automate, you can say to Google, hey Google, save blah 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 scene. And it will store the values of the, the current state, state, the current states. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So no, it's okay, super it's easy to just really nice. save new states yeah. and uh, get them. Yeah. Okay, so I have a, I have a, I have a lot of work to do here uh, with the with the groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, groups and scenes. But can we try? Can can we try the group? Can you uh, yes. create a group on that uh, ceiling light, and uh, then we will oh, uh, make we a. Oh, we'll do that. We'll, we'll do a series group. Yeah. Well, let's let's. And then we will compare uh, the home uh, when you use home should, assistant group yeah. and a sigma group. But let's delete this group then. So yeah, uh, sure. actually we could create a we chandelier. Are, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we may remove this group. Let's do that. So yeah. create group. Yeah. Go into the group. Select device. Can I select several? Time maybe? No, that's a shame though. Et. Et group. Nice. Okay, so right. let's we can open a new okay. session here. We can have two sessions. Yeah. Uh, Alright. So this is Let's start with the uh, home assistant group control. Uh, so oh, well, that was I, I can actually you do, and I will I will tell you which one you chose. Okay. okay. All right. So that is one hundred percent. So you yeah. don't know which one is what. I, no. I will. Uh, I will. I will uh, turn like off, off and on. Okay, that was one of them. Yeah. Okay, not on and off. Try and switch the, the dim it or something. Okay, so this is uh, dim, dimmer. That was home assistant. And that was uh, the, the MQTT group. It's the one that's not the same. Ah, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 one more time. Okay. Yeah? Okay, that, that was one. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. The first one was definitely home assistant because uh, it's it's kind of laggish and then it's it's, it's instant okay, it's really cool yeah, try, try that one more time the the sigby to mqtt the group here's, here's the sigby group yeah yeah it, it looks very nice but what, what lights do you have uh, IKEA. Oh, IKEA. No, no, it's IKEA. all right but I, I didn't. I think it looks good now. So I'm, I'm wondering why I thought it looked so bad when I had it. But but it's it's really it's really fast and it's it's one ah, movement. Maybe it's not. It's maybe this is Philips. Uh, it, it feels like Philips. No, it's like yeah. All right. It's like yeah. Yeah. It's very very nice. Mm. Very nice. But uh, I need to show you. You need to look at yeah, as well. Look, look as well. Okay. Uh, you need to stand like this. So you can show your enthusiasm. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can I? I'm not filming myself. So I need to All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Okay. So test and start. All right. Yes. I will now. Wait, 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 wait. Please let me guess as well. Yeah. So I will randomly pick one task. Yeah. I've chosen one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I go again. Yeah, okay, the other one then. The other one. Okay, wow. <laughs> well, that's a big I... difference. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it amazing, was a big a, difference. It was a group. Yeah, okay, so yeah. that, so that yeah. was that was actually uh, one message uh, exactly. instead that's, of five messages. That's understandable, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Okay. It's amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. Okay. And it okay, looks good as well. Okay, now I got more out of SIGB template there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this I need to uh, do a bit of elaboration with that later on. Mm. All right, time, time for important things. Uh, so the plan is to try and install an NS panel. And we will let Johannes 
Just follow the documentation. Okay, follow the you're you're very very good at reading documentation. <laughs> yes. So quite, uh, you can just Google on NS Panel and like stumble. Stumble in on the NS Panel Manager GitHub page. Manager GitHub. Yeah. You're like searching for something, some so good, some nice did project. Did you that? that huh? yeah, Google did, did, did Google um, auto auto filled yes. or? Yes, exactly. Auto filled or yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, NS Panel. Yeah. So, what is this? Is this something that I could use with my NS Panel? Mm, maybe maybe I just it bought? is. Hmm. NS Panel Manager. Wait, what, what, what is it? What is that? What is what is that project? To solve the issue by having uh, the project aims to solve the issue with having multiple son of NS Panel installed around the house, having to make code changes as soon as you want huh? to make change. Mm. Sounds amazing. It's amazing. The, the project also <laughs> aims to be simple to use work for both from assistance and open hub. Wow. And then the other home automation tool that can leverage uh, MQTC. Wow, that's crazy. That's like the exact <laughs> same thing that you're searching for. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Go. The oh, read, read the documentation. Read the documentation. The documentation. There must be some documentation. documentation. So the docs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, yeah like, there must be. Go there, go there, go there. Uh, this is a bit weird, but go to text. Text. Because uh, no, no. <laughs> Tim, he doesn't write. He, he, he doesn't. Uh, he oh, doesn't. <laughs> he writes it. Okay, I get <laughs> If it. you can do it in a cooler way than everyone else, oh, you, should you do, do that. Oh, okay. So that is um, done in something text. called. Uh, you know, uh, you, yes. you've studied. You're an educated person. It's like a university. Exactly. You, like can, you, do, you can do like <laughs> very nice yeah. equations and stuff. I, yeah. yes, it's it's Latish. 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 I think I used that yeah. in my 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 same results. Yeah. yeah. So okay, there you have it. It's all that oh, you need. Jeez, this was uh, quite. It's serious, uh, right? Serious, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, quick start guide, uh, container installation update. Important, there are currently problems running in this panel manager. Oh, then we will sell to up. Yes. Oh, no, you shouldn't be running VSL2 <laughs> anyhow. Is it or? shit? You should be running <laughs> na Linux natively, as, yeah. as any cool developer do. Yeah. It's not making this, it hard. This, <laughs> this is, this is, kill it, kill, I say, I'd say kill it with fire. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, okay. Yeah, but uh, Timmy, really Timmy takes good. care of everyone, so okay. that's good. <laughs> if you wish to run the container on Windows machine, standalone Docker container. Okay, so you can run it as a standalone if you want to. Yes. But I don't, I, I, I don't need to do that because I want to integrate it in Hux. All right, that's cool. Sounds, <laughs> yes. Is that Home Assistant? That is Home Assistant. All right. Uh, I think I ooh, think the Home Assistant add-on. You can do that. That speaks to me. That's crazy. That's like exactly what you want. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Installation in the Home Assistant web interface. Now we get to settings, add-ons, add-on store. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So we, okay. So let's do that. Yeah. Add-on store in the upper right corner. Press three dots and repositories. Mm -hmm. And here I should add a repository. Uh -huh. uh, copy link address. Nice. This is beautiful. And I add, I yeah. presume. I mean, okay, so this isn't a hacks. No, it's probably better than hacks. Uh, it's, it, it's better than yeah. hacks. Because, yes. Nice. I wonder how I did this. How did, how did he get this? Tim, he's yes. a genius. Yes. This is now like... Um, Everyone can do this, even though even know. the guys who don't know what they are doing. I know that's 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 the purpose. That's the purpose. Yeah. Okay, so this is anyway. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. Look at look at the reaction on this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So close. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Just missed it. Look at that. There. That's oh, my sorry. Con okay, contribution yeah. to this. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. So install them. Yeah. Uh, Install it. Should I uh, should I have an NS panel now? Or May no? maybe. Maybe. You will uh, read the documentation. Read the documentation. <laughs> <laughs> I've read the documentation. Have you tried to respond? <laughs> Which language is it written in? It's written in I think both Python and C. Oh. But right now, Tim is doing. Uh, he's rewriting the entire core, like if you call mm. it the core, the what he call what he calls the like the manager software, because uh, he wrote that in Python. Now he's rewriting re everything in C. Is, is he porting it to C then? No, uh, I don't know. He's rewriting it. Okay, oh, okay. Because uh, he, he, oh, okay. he and as I understood, he explained the like the difference with Python and C. And and mm -hmm. one of the, the big differences now when he when he because uh, in when he writes in C now, mm -hmm. I think he he has to compile it for every like 
different uh, operating system and like mm. every use case yeah. and, and so on. Mm. But Python runs in some kind of interpreted language. Yeah. So it's not compiled, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X. It's compiled, but not. Yeah, you compile it, but you compile it in like a virtual container or something. So ben, we ben, can, ben, yeah, exactly. so we can run on whatever oh, system. Okay. Right? Cool, but then it, co it it takes. I mean, everything takes long because it has to interpret into Windows and. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so this so is a, no, that a person that doesn't understand trying to explain it. Mm -hmm. But he said mm -hmm. so when he start when he starts the software now with mm -hmm. Python, it took thousand milliseconds. Mm -hmm. In C now it takes one hundred okay. milliseconds. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, so it's okay. it's supposed to get a bit uh, um, faster. Yeah, faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So he's re mm -hmm. redoing the entire foundation. Okay. Because he wants it more solid and. Uh, more easily to build yeah, okay, uh, more yeah. few features uh, in the future. Mm. Let's continue with the NS panel. You've added the, you installed the add-on. Uh, check that the add-on should start automatically. Yes, we haven't done start that. Start on boot, and that's, that's uh, nice. uh, something I'd like to have. Yes. yes. Uh, start the add-on. Maybe uh, do I, on watchdog. Yes. Also, also watchdog, and if you guys do an update, I'd like to that automatically. Not, very good. Very good. Uh, yeah. And then I start add-on. <laughs> Start the add-on. One uh, update, actually, okay. Uh, if there are some uh, updates, I can install it. I uh, check for updates. Uh, yes, but container settings. The following has been done in order to get a fully working container. Navigate to the web interface. The port is now. If the port not changed, the port is available at 8000. Same IP address as to Home Assistant, right? Yes, uh, my, this is my local home assistant. Yeah, exactly, and then it's port 8000 for panel manager. Boom. Wow, there it is. We're doing like retrying. Yeah, so and that's because we haven't configured it yet, uh, as it says in the documentation. Whoa, oh, okay, says, let's read the documentation. Uh, to get a fully working container, you have to do some things in the web interface. So we have done the first uh, yep. step here. And to the MK2T server. Uh, if you're running it, um, you free to enter the ISTA. Uh, but where should I do that? Yeah, that's a, maybe that could be a bit clearer. Settings. It's on <laughs> settings, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Go to settings. I assume it's settings. Uh, mm -hmm. And then it's okay, I can do much stuff here. Yeah, it's a lot. Global M. MQTT server, okay. Yeah, exactly. So what did you say? You know, uh, uh, home assistant. Okay, so that's right. Exactly, so uh, if you use the home assistant okay. MQTT broker Perfect. installation, it's the same IP address. Oh, wow. And then port, yeah, port numbers and... and if authentication yeah. is used, then you enter uh, and password. Boom, password. So. Nice. That's a nice thing. So mm. by using the home assistant add-on, that's just... Home assistant IP, yeah, yeah, okay. Same. Go back to the first page. First page. Does added. it say uh, still red? No, it's not no, red. No, it's putting flashing. Okay, not red. No, no. Huh? So, so maybe do we know? How do we know? Oh, but not red. Okay, it's not yes. red. That's good. Mm. So now it's time for flashing. For flashing. Woo! Prerequisites. 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 Well, well, Prerequisites. Prerequisites. Okay, so now we should plug plug this thingy. Yeah, have you have you done some flashing? We need to we, we'll see what 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 he's okay. what he, uh, working what's his suggestion. Working the for for three point one three volt. Aha, uh -huh. got it. Okay, so you Boom. Get it. That's so Windows that's only. Windows only, so we can, uh, can we do it. Yeah, flashing with the uh, ESP all tool, all uh -huh. operating systems. Okay. Yeah, by installing ESP tool. So that's the that's the most preferred way. But Actually, we will we will try a new thing. Uh, have you? Are you using ESP Home? No, I'm not using. Uh, we will. I think we should install ESP Home and try flashing it with ESP Home because we've had reports that it works all of a sudden. So that could be an easy way. If people have ESP Home, they could use that. So we will try that. All right, we're tr we're trying the the, the ESP Home web uh, dashboard automatic thing. Suitable to use Firefox. No, I didn't. I don't think it works with Chrome. With Firefox, Chrome. You need. Oh. You need Chrome. Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I will blame my work. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Press connect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Let's try that.
Uh, and maybe we will have to. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it seems to work. Yes. Install. Chose uh, ESP Home Select. Probably want to install. Let's just try that. Someone said that it like work. We will try that. Yep, there we go. Boom. And two screws here. Okay, let's try the well, let's try the ESP Home here. We'll just try to choose the the merged flash bin from the GitHub repository, and we have uh, it connected. And then I need to just check the ground wire is there. It's supposed to be at the. Always do it this first. I know I put the put it down first, and I tilt the card so I don't touch the back. And then I. I get power in, yep, and then install. This, if this works, it's really easy. We need to add that to the documentation on erasing. What? This is this is <laughs> this is so easy if this works. <laughs> wow. Because it's been weird things before when you try to flash it with our file with ESP Home, it's a, it, a, it has said, said weird things like uh, first hex is not starting okay. with zero. So you have to, blah, blah. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. But this is amazing. This is good news. Amazing. Do you have a Do you have a mobile phone on you? Yes. Can you Can you Can you take a picture? Take a video oh. now, so we can upload on the Discord channel mm -hmm. and tell people that this is amazing. Hello, <laughs> I'm currently at my friend Johannes, and uh, since someone said that it works to flash our merged flash bin file with ESP Home, we're trying that now, and it seems to work. Just using the web esphome.io web page, where you, you don't have to install anything, you just connect the serial uh, adapter to the USB port, uh, choose the merge flash bin on the GitHub repository, and press install. And it seems to be working. And we will see in like a couple of minutes. Let's go, come on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But I mean, uh, all the time I've done it before, it's just we got an error. So configuration installed, fucking amazing. Pull the USB, boom. Woo! That's, that's, that's amazing. Okay. And uh, nice. Now the, now the thing is flashed with the latest software. Exactly. Now, now the, the easy part starts. That was the that was the hard. That was hard. Part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boom. Let's get some. Let's Power. connect. This yep. is not connected now. No, it's not. Actually, it is not connected. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Should I just try and? Uh, yeah. <laughs> try to. All right. Boom. And uh, L is that live? No, it's just uh, it's just an abri abbreviation, abri 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 abbreviation, abbreviation, abbreviation. For what? Uh, Low line. Line? Is it line? Like maybe it's line. Mm. L one. And uh, earth. <laughs> Ground. <laughs> Ground. <laughs> yeah, this earth, <laughs> earthy. We don't. Uh, we not don't, important. We don't. Have, yes. No, we don't have that in Sweden. <laughs> so we don't have earth in Sweden. Okay. Okay. This is Let's plug wow. it in. All right. Okay. Can, we, can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? We need to first. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> should I pop the? Should I? You can. You can. You can yeah, pop. Because you need to watch, watch it. You can pop, you can pop the sherry. All right. Bam. No. Power on. Power on. And. <laughs> It works with ESP Home. It's fucking crazy. It's That's super really, easy. It's super easy. Man, 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 man. Super easy. And it's it's already obviously oh, we can, we can flash. Yeah, it's all already flash with uh, HMI. I've used it before. Now read the documentation. Mm, the documentation. Yeah. Okay. Connect to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, when the panel started, the password is password. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So does that mean that that one has created a Wi-Fi? Access point. Yeah. Yes. Do you see it? Uh, please, please see it. But I don't know if it's called MSP's panel. It should. 
Because we're out in the nowhere. Oh, there it was! Boom! <laughs> that's that's kind of the confirmation that it actually worked with ESP Home. Yeah, I, okay, I have used yeah, that okay. before, but, okay, okay, I mean, okay. but it said it 100%. So. Okay, connect. Nice! This is, this is easy. Let me get to. Let's change browser. Anyways. Boom! Nice! Okay. Uh, name the panel! Na uh, name the panel! Entryway? Uh, Should be in the entryway? It can't be uh, uh, Linus Gordon. A garden, ah, maybe. A garden, but a yeah. garden. Yeah, that's panel. nice. Yeah. Linus Garden panel. Hmm? Nice. Manager address. Do you want to read the documentation, uh, documentation. or should I just oh, tell you? Uh. The man manager address is the same address as your home assistant. Oh, okay, my home assistant. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, it's 8000, but yeah. 8000 port. And uh, the... 12. Yes. Yeah. Port. Uh, okay, okay, exactly. okay. Log level. Ah, uh, you don't need that. Okay, no. Or no, you don't need that. No, no. Uh, you, can, you, can turn, you can turn that on if you have problems and you put on the log level and you can look at the. Oh, okay, yeah. So we need uh, to connect to Wi Fi. Yeah, you have a list there, list button, use it. It's great. Uh -huh. Woohoo! Oh, this, oh, this is really sticky. Yeah. Fancy, fancy. Motherfucker, why? Why is that? No, Try again. Maybe it's. Uh, what, what browser is this? Is it. Uh, brave. No, it's brave. So try try but, something uh, normal, but, uh, like uh, try Firefox. Because uh, Tim is using Firefox, mm. so it should work in Firefox. Mm. Oh, yeah, we have to redo it. But, uh, Linus Garden <coughs> yeah. panel. Uh, yeah. uh, list. Ooh, yeah, it works. Okay. So uh, this is uh, actually IoT for me now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I need to use my password here. Serious guy, this one. IoT network. And IoT server. server again. Same uh, address as Home Assistant. Home Assistant. Yeah. Put more down. Mm -hmm. Then username. Thing is there empty user and password then it's just uh, you can choose the upload board right there it's empty of some reason and choose mm. the default one and then just press save save boom yeah boom boom and then uh, we need to switch our Wi-Fi network back okay to... so now it's yeah did it reboot yeah it did yeah, reboot nice and switch your your Wi-Fi to the to the uh, yeah exactly we go, go into here. the Nespana manager yep and hopefully. Hopefully. Are you on the Wi-Fi now? Yes, I'm on the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it loaded mm -hmm. the stuff, yes. It should have popped up, but at the same time, Is that uh, first there? screen shouldn't be there if it worked. Uh -huh. So something okay. is strange. Okay, so we just realized uh, again that uh, Johannes, he likes like, security and stuff. <laughs> yeah. He's not like me. So uh, we think that probably it has connected to Wi-Fi, but it does not get an IP address because it's an it's an unknown device. It's an unknown device. Yeah, so we have to fix that. Of course, this is, this is the best security in the world. <laughs> uh, but I need to uh, uncheck the box deny on my clients. Ah, okay. Nice. And if check the only the clients the fine will below will get, will get the HTTP leases from the server. All right. Uh, so save this. All right. Then, then maybe it should. Oh, kind of maybe. No, it's for story. Oh, oh, oh! I missed it with the camera. Oh, okay. All right, so the panel is registered to the MQTT manager. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Now, I think this might be an old TFT file. That's why it doesn't move forward from that page because we've redid a lot of things. So, and as you can see there, check the exp, oh, ex, ex, what, what do you call that? The, uh, that, that thing. So it says GUI update available. Mm. And uh, and that that yeah, it does a check, so mm -hmm. it's not the correct <laughs> GUI for the for the firmware. That we no, oh, okay. So start the GUI upload. You can do that. Um, maximize this screen. Pause, pause, okay, right. do, 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 do. Let's do this first. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Yeah, and then go to actions. Huh? Just yes. uh, update screen on all the panels. Boom. And oh, okay. Look at the screen. Woo. Look at it. Come on. Mm, okay, updating. so now it's on my Wi Fi and it's. Boom! And it's updating. just a partial update, so it's not that. L it's just a, a small one, so that goes mm. pretty fast. <laughs> the entire one goes. And look at this one, it's beautiful. This work, whoa. 
It's cool, right? Mm, it's cool. <laughs> I'm just thinking, oh, is that? Okay. Yeah, you can, you can follow the, the percentage Price, there in, on the yeah. blue bar. Very beautiful. And also in the GUI, that's yeah, really exactly. neat. Exactly, it's really neat. Beautiful. I like this, uh, this um, yeah, right? meta dot. Yeah, you can see more. Telemetry, uh, telemetry information. You can go here and see and, uh, uh, even okay. more stuff. Yeah, RAM usage and cool stuff like that. And cool. Uh, oh. Rebooting, one, uh, let's see here. It's very nice. Look at the, the boot up screen. I love that one. Look at the mm -hmm. registering to manager, loading coffee. Yeah, boom! boom. So now I'm actually online here. Yeah, you're online, and now the last thing is just be able to control uh, some lights. Yeah. Next thing, we've decided to look at Home Assistant and what has popped up just automatically via MQTT Auto Discovery. Mm -hmm. And we will not watch Johannes' face <laughs> when he sees it. <laughs> Go to uh, uh, MQTT settings, devices. Devices, MQTT. Yeah. Yep. Devices. And there you should find NS, no, the Linux Garden NS panel. NS panel, yeah. Nice. So this Press is where, Okay, mm -hmm. so this is what I were, look, were looking for before. Exactly. Looking, yes, okay, so here we have, yeah. So this is. It's a relays. Uh, so this those? one I should add to my. Uh, add to dashboard. What happens? Well, no, not that dashboard, but uh -huh, I will okay. do it like this. I will put it in my home. Uh -huh. Who's it? All right. And it will have an update. Nice. So now, uh, what are the names here now? I'm just going to check. Search. Oh, perfect. Uh, on the temperature. Mm -hmm. oh, you have to, we, have to, we have to configure that one. Because it is Cause it's a bit, the yeah. decimals, it lies a float. Yeah, but there's, so a, there's a setting to, to change that. Okay. Uh, but uh, can you just try the, try the, the screen or the, the power on, for example? Screen power here. Yeah. Boom. Oh, okay. Turns on. Mm, Turn yeah. it off. Or you can you can have it on and, and change the brightness. brightness. So that's yeah. the things that you can control screen right now. Save your brightness. Okay. Yeah, so it depends mm. if you want it to be completely black or uh, yeah, 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 dim yeah, yeah. down. That's nice. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that's that's mm, uh, that's it that's for the auto nice. discovery. All right. Let's try to add a light then in NS Panel Manager mm. and uh, control uh, the light. A uh, light. Yes. Okay. Yes. See what's here. Okay. Go to rooms. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. And it's created a dummy room mm -hmm. when the first panel was added. So you can change that name to something if you want to. Well, we can. And just look, dummy room. look at this. Uh, so it's called dummy room now. So change oh, okay. your name. Change your name. So it's just right to uh, Johannes. Johannes Erik. Yeah. Open that right now. Save. So. Boom. Oh, and it did it update straight away? <laughs> it did update straight, straight away. away. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yes, of course. This room can update later. Who did this? I've seen yeah. and then you light them. Yeah, and you light them. Oh, oh, you have already done I that? I actually oh, tested that when your child started screaming. So <laughs> okay. delete that one. And <laughs> you will... Oh, 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 wait, wait. This is a, this is a oh. magic moment. So I want to see your reaction. Your reaction. So... Okay. <gasps> Let's take a lead. Okay. Isn't that just amazing when you, you see mm, all the nice. entities? Yes. And yes. you can search it. Yes. You, you forget nice. to... <laughs> no, but it, it's, really, it's really neat. It is. It is. Contour lampan, yes. What's this then? Yeah, it's uh, it's if you have a, a open hand, ah, okay. like mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And if you have both, you will see it. Yeah, you can use both. If you have both, yeah. okay, cool. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, okay, so and this is just sitting light to the it, table light, but this is a... Table light then. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's not a dimmable one, it's a switch. No, no, it's a dimmable one. Oh, it's a dimmable one, sorry. Right. Sorry, it's a dimmable one. Okay, so, but I don't have, uh, it's not, you color I have, but not RGB, it's, it's a... Like, yeah, it's yeah, like color temperature. But uh, not color not color red, red. Red. Okay. Green, blue. Okay. And you can change the name there if you want to have a uh, better this is name. A, well. This is a... Um, friendly name. Friendly name, okay. Yeah. Add. Yeah, add. And check the panel. Check the panel. Uh, go into the room. Uh, is this room or is this room? Yeah, yeah. enter the room, Johannes Eric. This is the room. Yeah. Contour it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I didn't actually manage to press yeah. that button. Did it work? Yes. All right. Nice. And uh, go back to the first uh, first page there. And the panel. Uh, no, I thought about the, thought yeah, about okay. the panel. So we'll go back to the no, first back. page, mm. yeah, and I'll try to just uh, get the. Uh, and you can just dim or something. Mm, okay, so this is. Uh, okay, so this is temperature, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Try to get your swipes to see how oh, rapid okay. it is. It's pretty so fast. This is the right? warmest now, yeah. yeah. I want the warmest. So yeah. this is. Okay, so you can, can you swipe like this? Okay, so you have to like that. It's, it's when you release the models. And you can press a table light uh, to turn all table uh, lights oh, off okay, in so that room. Is, for the table light, and this is ceiling, like, exactly. if, if there were also ceiling. Like, exactly, okay. so if you have five table lights, you can you control all of them at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the kind so of... So there's a room, lights, all lights. The thought of it. Oh, okay, so you can see, okay, all light room lights. Okay. So the thought is to have... Cool! One panel in each room. Yes. Control all lights. The really uh, nice uh, yeah. interface. Yeah, okay, you can go to just uh, go to like panel settings. You can do some panel settings. Panel. So if you enter the panel, press the panel name. Here. Okay. You have like, you have all the because you're putting this on the wall and you want to use the relays, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. you have to choose which mode you want uh, for uh -huh. the buttons. You can have direct mode, okay. then it controls the relay. Mm -hmm. You can press the uh, detached mode, then you control like one of the lights that you've added to the room. So if you have mm -hmm. a ceiling light, for example, and you press that one, it will just control it via amplitude. Okay. And can uh, I have both? Can I have like a relay and also? Uh, you cannot have both uh, right now, at no. least. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you you could use. You can have a custom MQTT command, example, uh, to, okay, to go out that, uh, yeah. uh, if you press the button, for example. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, 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 so uh, but one mode, and default mode. Yeah, oh, it's oh. when the panel is uh, rebooted, when it turns on. Yeah. Should the relays be off or on okay, as default, yes, for okay. example. Mm. Uh, you have screen brightness. US panel, what's this? So if it's a US panel, you have to tick that one. Because the US panel is uh, the one that is like taller. Uh -huh. And then you need to load another TFT file. Oh, okay, okay. The screen okay. is different. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have you can put on choose to, to add a clock to the screensaver, for example. Uh, uh, globe. Uh, show clock. True. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. And you can have a screensaver. Uh, time. I'll put that to five thousand milliseconds. And it's, just, it's just in milliseconds. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. It is. Okay. Mm. And press save, and uh, you have to save. exactly, and you have to reboot when you when you change settings For on this, the panel. Okay. So, so uh, reboot, here. reboot, yeah. And uh, we can just check if the clock appears in five seconds or something. And you saw that it got the current settings yeah, from that light so straight away. Yeah, it remembers. Yeah. Or, no, or does it fetch the values from the light? Yeah, it, as soon as it connects to Home Assistant, it gets all it the gets current all states. Oh, okay, okay. Because yeah, okay. cool. it, it has no uh, internal storage, it's only like, on yeah, the no. ROM. Like, like, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. It, it will fetch the values. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you have to also set a screensaver brightness, set that to like mm. 10% or something. Uh, so now it, it went to zero, yeah, and save and reboot again. The screen brightness is no, no... No, you, should, you can leave that, so it's always 100. Save, revert. Yeah, and you can do these settings as a global setting, if you want all panels to have a clock as a screensaver. Yeah. You can do that on the global settings page instead. Okay, uh -huh, okay. But if you, for so example, want one panel in your bedroom, you don't want a screensaver on that one mm, during the so night. This is nice. Okay, so you, you're, you're, you really like a clock, that's really nice. Yeah, so, and we're adding like weather and sh all that shit that people want. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's the plan, uh, and it's, it's, oh, it's evolving. Maybe you want like a clock and temp, I'd like the temperature. Oh, so, uh, my, can I have like a, uh, out, my, one of my uh, temperature uh, readings? Yeah, I think we've, we're planning to have that as well, like a, 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 a M MQTT topic where you could put whatever you want. To. Yeah, that's really Or if you nice. want to put a message like saying, hello, we look good today, you can have that. Oh, well. Okay, yeah. 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 So, so it's you like just, to uh, you go up in the morning, you have your clock and you outside temperature because it's always cold in this fucking country <laughs> to know how, how much the day will suck or not. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, really nice. This is really nice. I really like yeah? it. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. It was, it, was, it, was, it was fun to install... To install it, <laughs> yeah, it was a, with you yeah. first time. Yes. I think it went very smoothly. It's an actually. experience. Yeah, yeah, it was like uh, it was like no issues. No issues no. at all. No. Okay, so you have your first Anna's panel. Amazing. First, uh, maybe we should call it a day. Yes.
version. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully this will uh, become a very very popular pod. Yes, in the yes, future. So. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Good night. Good night. Good night.